So welcome, welcome to another session of Everyday Mathematics. Here at Everyday Mathematics, as our slogan goes, we do enjoy solving the harder problems, but also we do see and appreciate the beauty in the simpler problems. So today we are still on this MIT 2022 Integration B um, set of questions. Um, we are stepping back from the semifinals to the quarterfinals. Uh, and the quarterfinal of our focus today is quarterfinal number four. And we're looking at problem number two in that uh, series. So we would like to um, group these uh, questions into the polynomial category. Um, it's more complex than that. Uh, but for convenience's sake, we'll uh, take this as a polynomial question. Um, our problem is the integral at the limit as n tends to infinity of the product of the square root of n and the integral from x equals to negative a half to uh, positive a half of uh, into bracket one minus three x squared plus x to the power four close bracket to the power n. So it's a very, very interesting problem. It looks intimidating, uh, but at the end of this session, I hope you get to see uh, some technique uh, in solving such problems. So before I go into the solution, I'd like to shout out to our subscribers. Thank you so, so much. Uh, thank you so much for the support. Uh, we don't take this support for granted. We don't take it lightly. Uh, we do really appreciate your support. Uh, for our first time visitors here at Everyday Mathematics, what we do is we go out there, we look for uh, seemingly harder problems. Uh, we try to solve them. And as soon as we find uh, a solution that makes sense, we come back here and we share uh, with our community. Uh, for our uh, visiting uh, visitors who are coming back again but haven't subscribed, uh, we would just like to beseech you to uh, pause the video for a moment and tap on that subscribe button. Your support will really mean a lot to us. So going into the uh, solution to this problem, um, the first thing that... Uh, I would like to handle is I would like to eliminate this square root of n. And how I would do that is by letting x be equal to t over square root of n, such that uh, dx dt is 1 over the square root of n. And thus, dx can be substituted by uh, dt over square root of n. Now, when we look at the limits, when x equals to uh, negative uh, half, um, therefore it means that since t will be equal to the product of square root of n and x, that means that t would be negative a half a times square root of n. And then when x equals to one over two or half, it means that t will be uh, equal to uh, half times the square root of n. Therefore, our problem here, uh, the limit as n tends to infinity of the product of n and uh, the integral of, uh, from x equals to negative half to positive a half of uh, into bracket one minus three x squared plus x to the power four to the power n is, will be equal to uh, limit as n tends to infinity the product of n, and so for the limits, we've substituted appropriately with t um, corresponding values. And then in bracket, where we have x, for example, 3x squared in place of x, we have t over square root of n, and then we square that. And then when we have x to the power 4, we have t to the power square root of n to the power of 4, um, and then close the bracket the power n. And in place of dx, we have dt over square root of n. Therefore, we see this n cancels, canceling out with this. And so our uh, problem now reduces, looking at the integrand, uh, to 1 uh, minus 3 t squared over n square root of n squared is n, and then uh, to the power 4 over n squared. And then we have the power n there. Then um, going forward, uh, since we've uh, simplified the integrand after substitution quite considerably, 
uh, we can now uh, express this integrand as a power of uh, e. And that is the same as e to the power log of this function um, to the power n. Uh, so uh, e to the power log of x is the same as x. So we're just trying to be fancy here, and you will see why we're trying to do it. Now, using the rules of logarithm, uh, this power can be taken to uh, the left-hand side here. And that becomes now uh, the integral, um, since uh, the square root of n has disappeared, is just the limit of n tending to infinity of the integral of uh, as x equals, from x equals to negative square root of n over two to x equals to square root of n over two of e to the power n log in bracket one minus three t squared over n plus to the power four over n squared. Now, a um, couple of things we could uh, try to do uh, is we could bunch up uh, the t terms into a single bracket. And there's a reason I'm trying to do that. Um, we're going to try and use what we call Maclaurin's, or uh, some of you uh, may know it as Taylor's expansion. Now, for those of you who are um, very specific with the details, we know that this is a Maclaurin's expansion. So the Maclaurin's expansion of uh, natural logarithm of 1 plus x is the same as uh, x minus x squared over 2 plus x to the power 3 over 3 minus x to the power 4 over 4. And this is applies for uh, values whose absolute uh, values of x whose absolute term is less than, than 1. Absolute value is less than 1. Um, so you can see that here as n tends to infinity, and since t was between negative 1 half and uh, positive 1 half, and then we have an n the denominator, this uh, term here is essentially um, it's 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 a small value. So we can now substitute um, the log term in terms of this Maclaurin's expansion, uh, which means that we have a limit tending to infinity uh, when uh, t equals to square root of n over two to t equals to square root of n over two um, of e to the power n, and then in place of logarithm, in place of x, we have this term, and then x squared, we have the same term over two. You can see we have the minus sign here, plus so on and so on. And then, um, as you can see, this n interacts with this single n here, canceling the n term for this uh, value here. But still, for t to the power four, we still have an n, uh, even after multiplying n across. And these succeeding values will always still have n denominator. So that um, when n tends to infinity, um, what that means is that values with denominator is n would definitely tend to, to zero. And so our integrand here, since when n tends to infinity, this tends to infinity, uh, the upper limit also tends to positive infinity, and then we're only left with e to the power negative three t squared, okay? And this is a well-known um, integral um, it is known as the Gauss Gaussian uh, integral. Well, if we have the integral from uh, negative uh, infinity to positive infinity of e to the power minus ax squared, that's the same as pi over uh, the square root of pi over a. And so our integral now becomes, since a is 3, uh, it's pi, square root of pi over 3. And now answer uh, is thus, a square root of pi over three. Thank you so much for paying your attention uh, or for hanging along with us as we solve this problem. Uh, it was an absolute pleasure uh, sharing with you this solution. Uh, if you've not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. Uh, we um, really, really would appreciate your support. Uh, until next time, à la prochaine fois, à tout à l'heure.